Hi, everybody, and good afternoon or good morning, depending on where you are. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Sandy Elson, and on behalf of the Travel Professional Community and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com, I want to welcome all of you to today's very exciting and informative webinar. Our host for this webinar is ARC Marketplace, and as always, we really appreciate their support. Our speaker is Jennifer Breedy, Senior Product Manager. Jennifer joined ARC in 2006 as a product manager and has managed multiple products throughout her career at ARC, including ARC Memo Manager and Aero Trend. Currently, Jennifer is responsible for ARC Marketplace and Aero Graham. She has over 13 years of product management experience. Jennifer worked at Nextel Communications as a product manager for BlackBerry prior to joining ARC. She has held various positions in the airline industry, including passenger sales for a carrier, where she was focused on corporate and agency accounts. Jennifer's topic today is 10 reasons to use ARC Marketplace. Please remember that you're all muted, but we welcome your questions. You can type in your questions at any time in the question area you see on the right-hand panel of your screen. When Jennifer's presentation is finished, we will take as many questions as we can. So without further ado, I'm gonna turn the microphone over to Jennifer so she can get started. Welcome, Jennifer. Great, thank you, Sandy, and welcome uh, to everyone on the call today. I just wanna thank you for joining us uh, for a little bit of your time today to learn more about ARC Marketplace. So as Sandy mentioned, I'm gonna talk about the 10 reasons, or top 10 reasons in my opinion, um, to use ARC Marketplace. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just go through the presentation. And as Sandy mentioned at the end, um, I'll, have, we'll, I'll be sure to leave time for questions. So um, ARC Marketplace is a B2B website just for travel agents. Um, and the number one uh, thing I want to mention today about uh, one of the reasons to use it is that it's free and it's an easy to use website. Um, we offer more in destination experience choices and I'm going to walk through that a bit in my presentation today so you have an idea of the types of things that we do offer on the site. Um, you'll have access to the hottest seasonal tours and activities. Um, we'll help you find the best value for your clients. On the site, you can book products from trusted suppliers. You can be comfortable to know that we've only partnered with trusted suppliers. That, uh, therefore, uh, the products that you'll be selling and recommending to your clients, you can feel confident doing that. Um, we have offer destination-specific tips for you at your fingertips through our city pages. Um, and I'm going to show you those uh, what, and what those entail. We're going to talk about how you can meet your clients' ground transportation needs and how you can assist your clients with travel documentation. And you earn commission when you book directly on arcmarketplace.com for your client and when your clients book on your website. We do have an option uh, where you can put our products, our content onto your website where your clients can book and then you earn commission. And then lastly, of course, uh, for doing this and all the work that you're doing to book these um, products for your clients, of course, we're going to be paying you commission. So you get paid by ARC. You don't have to chase multiple suppliers for commission. We're going to be paying you all in one place. So in my presentation today, I'm going to go through each of these 10 reasons. And then at the end, I'm going to cover some tips and, tri trips, tips and tricks for booking um, and a couple other things, um, ways that you can stay connected with us and a couple other things at the end of the presentation. So um, again, with ARC Marketplace, it's a free and easy website. We have no minimum sales required to be paid commission. So you can book as little as you like or as much as you like, and we're still going to pay you. Um, there's no website login or password to remember. It's an open website, so you don't have to remember another login or password. There's no charge to use the site. Again, it's free to use. And any travel agent can use ARC Marketplace whether you're in the United States, whether you're outside the United States, and you don't have to be an ARC agent to use it. Number two, we offer more in-destination experience choices. ARC Marketplace partners with Viator to offer over 50,000 amazing things to do worldwide. And this is anything from day tours to multi-day trips. We have private and special access, access tours shore excursions, we have pre and post cruise tours. For those of you who are booking cruises, um, we have airport and port transfers. We have family-friendly activities. We also offer theater and show tickets. 
Uh, a newer category of product um, that we offer is airport lounge passes. And we offer um, unique experiences like VIP and exclusive tours, which I'm going to talk just a little bit more about, as well as skip the line access tours, which I know are really, really popular. And this is just a sampling of some of the things. Um, I like to tell people there really, truly is something for everyone that we offer on the site. So no matter you know what types of clients you're working with, because I'm sure you're all working with a different variety of clients with different interests, um, different backgrounds, different things that they want to do while they're traveling, um, I can guarantee you that there's something that we can offer on the site truly for everybody. So I'm going to talk um, for a couple minutes. I want to highlight the VIP and exclusive tours, just to give you an idea of what these are. Um, and so I'll start with the VIP tours. These are unique tours that offer something special that the general public can't access. Um, the one that I always kind of like to highlight um, is the um, buy a tour VIP Versailles tour. And so what makes this a VIP tour are things like um, a small group. So a lot of the VIP tours, this one in particular has, um, you know, it's going to be a small group tour. So there's going to be a maximum of 16 people. And let me just real quick, because this comes up a lot in the questions, I'll explain a uh, small group. Because it, it varies, to be honest with you. People ask me, well, what is the size of, when you say a small group, what is the size? Um, it really varies on the product and the supplier, because Viator works with so many different suppliers. A lot of times what you'll find on the product page, which is the screenshot that I'm showing you on the slide right now, this gives um, all the detailed information about that particular tour or activity. And a lot of times it's going to tell you right there. Um, if it is a small group uh, tour, it usually will say um, what the maximum number of people is for that particular tour. So for this one, the maximum is 16 people. It offers a skip the line of um, special access. So there is a um, separate priority entrance um, that the participants of this tour would be um, using to enter Versailles. Um, so it's a reserved door, which means they don't have to wait in line uh, with everybody else who's waiting in line and waiting to purchase their ticket, which is really nice. So it kind of gets them in quickly. Um, they get in ahead of the crowd, and they get to see um, special rooms within the palace that most of the other tours don't get to visit. So um, I know they have a, a private viewing of the royal quarters, um, as well as Louis the um, Sixth Library. I'm sorry, Louis the, Louis the Sixteenth Library. Um, so there's, you know, a few different areas within the palace itself that are special and unique on this tour um, that most of the other tours out there for Versailles aren't going to cover. So those, that's just an example of this particular tour. Again, um, on the site, we offer quite a bit of different VIP tours throughout different destinations, and they're going to offer um, similar types of features of skip the line access, maybe a special entry, early access, um, something like that. So the exclusive tours are a step above um, the VIP tours. So it's going to include, the exclusive tours are going to include the same kind of features I just mentioned for the VIP tours, except they're going to um, be exclusive to Viator. So basically Viator has arranged um, these tours with these suppliers exclusively, and these suppliers don't offer these tours through anybody else. So it's something really unique. I like to tell agents something really unique that you can offer to your clients that they won't find anywhere else. This one um, that I have highlighted on the screen here is one of the newest um, Viator exclusive tours that Viator just recently added. Um, this is in Barcelona. It's um, the La Pedera um, special uh, early access private tour. So um, it, the people get to enter 45 minutes before its official opening time. Um, it's an hour and a half tour. And again, it's not offered anywhere else. It's a small group tour limited to 10 people, and it includes breakfast um, at the cafe inside the um, Perdera. Um, so that's just some of the highlights of that particular tour. Again, this one is um, a newly added um, tour. But again, if you go to the site um, and search for exclusive tours, you'll see them all throughout the destinations that we offer on the site. 
Number three, um, you can access the hottest seasonal tours and activities. And I always love um, this time of year because we're into fall and now people are actually starting to book, as you know, into the holidays, which um, I, I just can't imagine we're already there, but we are. So um, this first slide I have is really about kind of things going on right now in the fall, fall foliage, um, Halloween. I have a couple of uh, fall foliage tours in here that I've highlighted. One is the Washington, D.C. Um, fall foliage day cruise. Um, this is a family-friendly cruise. It um, goes on the Potomac River here um, outside the nation's capital, uh, past the D.C. monuments, and it really, truly is beautiful this time of year with all the, um, the leaves changing and the colors and everything. Um, so that's a really nice thing to do if you have clients that are traveling to Washington, D.C. Um, I have another one, um, a sightseeing tour from Boston. Um, so sightseeing, the fall colors up in New England. Um, this tour has a hotel drop-off and pick-up from hotels in Boston. It's a fully narrated tour on an air-conditioned coach, and uh, the travelers will explore small towns in Maine and New Hampshire as they, of course, take in the fall, beautiful fall colors. So that's another one, um, just a really popular tour. Um, for those of you that have clients that may be going to Savannah, um, as you may or may not know, Savannah is um, very rich in um, history, of course, and they have quite a lot of um, <clears throat> ghost types of tours there. So this one I just kind of pulled out, of course, you know, around Halloween time, something fun and different to do. Um, this particular tour visits um, more than 10 of the city's most haunted sites, um, gives a, a historical tour of the city. It is family and pet friendly, so evidently it's, it's not too scary. Um, they say that, you know, it is family friendly. Um, and this one's kind of neat because they also offer the guests uh, EMF readers or ghost detectors as part of the tour. So something just kind of fun. Um, another fun kind of fall thing, of course, I always think about Oktoberfest in Germany, in Munich. I think Oktoberfest itself is really happening, um, kind of happens there at the end of September beginning of October, so that's happening now. But this tour I found, um, the Munich Beer Evening Walking Tour, it goes on throughout the year. And um, this one's kind of nice because uh, the travelers will visit three of Munich's iconic beer gardens and learn about Germany's long brewing history and local customs. And of course, get to sample a variety of brews along the way as they're going through the walking tour. So those are just some of the um, fun fall um, activities I, I wanted to highlight. And then again, getting to, into the holidays, we have Thanksgiving, Christmas, other holidays uh, coming up throughout the season. Um, another thing that we have on the site that we offer, again, in a lot of the destinations, if you have clients that are interested, I know this is becoming you know, just more increasingly popular, are culinary types of tours and activities that we offer on the site. Um, the one I kind of highlighted here is the Paris cooking class. Um, it's a French Christmas menu. So with this particular tour, I think this is kind of cool. They have an option um, where the traveler can choose um, two options, basically. They can choose the market option, which means that they actually go to the market, the fresh um, food market, with the chef, and they help pick out or learn how to pick out um, the actual ingredients that for the meal that they'll be learning how to cook and that they'll be cooking. So they actually go shopping to the local market first, and then they go back and um, you know get the cooking lesson, learn how to make the dishes, and then enjoy the meal. Or you know for people who aren't interested in doing that part of it, they can just show up um, at the you know when the cooking class starts and participate in that part, and then of course in enjoying the meal with French wine. And um, part of that meal will be to make the Bouche de Noël cake, the French cake that's pictured here, which looks fabulous. Um, and, you know, I think something great about the culinary classes are, um, you know, that people can learn how to make these authentic, um, you know, local dishes and take that home with them as part of their, their travel. Take home the recipes, you know, something they've learned that they can actually then make again once they get home. Um, we also have something for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's a breakfast and indoor venue. This one's kind of uh, nice and I think very family friendly because if you've ever been to the Thanksgiving parade, of course, it's very, very crowded. Um, not a lot of places to use the restroom or if it's really cold um, to go in. 
So this is um, a place that's, I believe, like a half a block away from the parade. Um, you would eat breakfast at a local restaurant where you can stay warm and kind of have a place to go. You can go outside and watch the parade, but then come in, um, have some hot cocoa, use the restroom, just have a place to stay warm and not have to be out there the entire time fighting the crowd. Um, we also have, I've highlighted here, the Christmas market visit. I love the uh, German Christmas markets in Europe. They're just so much fun um, this time of year. So this particular um, tour is, of course, to visit the Christmas markets with a small group. This particular one is a 12-person uh, maximum, so it really is a small group. And as part of that um, particular tour, a dinner is also included in that. So it's going to the Christmas market, doing some shopping, then going to dinner. And then the last one I've highlighted here is a private tour of the church of the in a traditional black cab um, of London's Christmas lights. And this one is a tour of the Christmas lights, um, of course, by Black Cab. It drives past the key city attractions, such as Big Ben, Westminster Abbey, but then um, also goes through some of the smaller neighborhoods. So it truly is a really nice way to see the city all lit up and festive for the holidays. So finding the best value. We offer competitive pricing. One of the things that we offer um, on the site is a low price guarantee. So if you or your clients find a tour or activity um, somewhere else, even if your clients find it in destination once they get there and it's at a lower price, just let us know. Viator will match the price. It has to be the exact same tour with the same supplier. Um, just note that, but otherwise um, they do have a low price guarantee. I did mention the small group options that are available. Again, um, this is available throughout products um, throughout the site. Most of the VIP and exclusive tours are going to be um, small group tours. And again, that's just kind of by definition of what that is. Um, I just mentioned a couple of them, the seasonal tours uh, that I talked about. Um, which one was it? Oh, the Christmas market tour. There was a 12 person max on that tour. So. You'll just have to, once you are looking around the site, looking at different tours that you're interested in for your clients, um, if you're reading through the product pages, you can kind of see what the description has to say. Um, even though the tour itself may not be titled small group, a lot of times they are smaller group tours. Not all the time, but um, you will definitely see that in the product description. And sometimes it will also be in the title of the tour itself. As I mentioned earlier, there are no fees or unexpected service charges. Um, so again, the product is um, completely free to use, both for you and for your client. We don't charge um, your client any kind of fee um, either. Uh, we have a flexible cancellation policy, and we also offer a worry-free guarantee for short excursions. So this again, um, we offer the short excursions through Viator. And a lot of the cruise lines will scare um, clients into thinking, you know, clients and travel agents into thinking that, oh, you really have to book this short excursion through us because if something happens, then, you know, your client won't be able to get back to the ship. But Viator um, guarantees that, um, you know, for tours, tour cancellations due to weather or missed tours due to a late cruise ship arrival or ship itinerary change, um, that the travelers would be guaranteed a timely return back to the cruise ship, and in the event that they're not returned in time, transportation will be arranged for them to the next port of call. So it's just really peace of mind um, that you don't have to worry about that for your clients. And I just want to point out that on the website, most of the short excursions that we offer do carry this worry-free guarantee. There are a couple that do not. And the way that you know um, that it is included is, again, on these product pages that I um, showed you. And I'm just going to go up a couple slides so I can show you. So this screenshot here is what I'm calling the product page. When you actually go to the website and you pick on the tour, uh, sorry, click on the um, tour or activity you're interested in, you're interested in, you'll see this page. It has all the details. It's going to have the highlights of the tour or activity, and it's going to tell you everything that's included and everything that's excluded. The um, worry-free guarantee for short excursions will be listed there in the inclusions section. So again, I just um, wanted to point that out and let people know about that. 
So you can look, uh, again, products from trusted suppliers. I mentioned we only work with the best, most trusted suppliers, and so do, so do our suppliers. So we work with Viator, and then Viator works with, um, I think, nearly 10,000 suppliers now. They have a lot. Um, but they only work with the most trusted suppliers. So there's a team of travel insiders that handpick the best local tour and activity providers. These suppliers are pre-vetted, so your clients always have an exceptional experience. And they have a star rating system and also verified real traveler reviews and photos. And I think this is really um, great information to have, and I like to point it out to agents. Um, you can see here on the website, I have the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island tour. And I've highlighted here the star rating system. So if you're on the site, you can click on the reviews. This particular tour happens to have 304 reviews, which is great. Um, so if you click on there, you can actually see the reviews. And these are reviews, again, from real travelers who've been on this particular tour. And I just think it's a really great point of reference uh, for you and for your clients um, you know, to do their research if you're looking at um, doing booking a particular tour activity and have questions about it. You can get really a flavor for what it's like and what other people had to say about it. And the same thing goes for, again, the photos um, are here as well. On the site, um, you'll be able to access um, the photos as well on the website. And sorry, this next slide, I just had pulled out some of the reviews for this particular tour. So destination-specific tips. We offer on the website what we call our cities pages. And we launched these last year. But these are, um, we have, I believe, now our top 12 destinations that agents are booking on ARC Marketplace. Uh, we have them listed on our cities pages. And it's really just a reference for you. Um, we want to give you more information if you're, you know, need to do research on these cities, you know, just in a place that's easy and quick for you to get some quick tips or maybe quick ideas or suggestions for your clients. Um, on each page, we typically list the top 10 things to do. So you can see what the top attractions are in each city. We have videos there of some of the top rated tours and activities. We have travel tips. And then we also have suggestions for things to do in one day. Maybe you have clients who um, just have a short time in one of these places, but they want to go out and explore as much as they can while they're there. So we have a list of things, of suggestions for what they might be able to do in one day while they're visiting. So number seven is meet your client's ground transportation needs. We've talked a lot about, um, so far in my presentation, about the tours and activities that we offer on the site, but we also do offer ground transportation. So once your clients get to their destination, you know, how do they get to their hotel or wherever else they're going while they're there? So um, if they want to rent a car, we offer car rentals. Of course, um, domestically and internationally in 174 countries. We work with a company called Car Trawler, which is our partner. Car Trawler is a car rental aggregator, and they have very competitive rates. And it really is easy and fast to book. Um, and again, you can do this right from our website. We also offer airport transfers, maybe for some people who, you know, either the destination they're traveling to isn't feasible to rent a car, or they just don't want to do that. They just need a quick ride to their airport. I'm sorry, to their hotel. Um, from the airport, we have transfers that are available through Viator. Um, so you'll see that on the site. And I know those are booked um, quite a lot in all destinations. And then um, coming soon, we're going to be offering Super Shuttle and ExecuCar on the website, um, hopefully sometime early next year. Um, I don't have a date yet for that, but um, I know that they'll be coming to the site. So number eight is assist your clients with travel documentation. So we offer discounted rates on a full range of passport services. So that could be anything from a new passport to a passport renewal, a lost or stolen passport, a child passport, maybe just a name change, um, a damaged passport, a first time passport card. Um, and of course we offer expedited services. So. Um, you can go to the website, the Art Marketplace, under Books, you'll see um, documents, uh, documentation, passport services, and you'll get to this page. Um, once you click on Book It, you'll just be washed through uh, the process, that, depending on what type of service you select. 
Um, we'll walk you through how to order that service. Um, so this is available for you on the site. As is um, a visa service. So again, um, still travel documentation, but um, it is fast and easy to obtain a travel visa for your client as well as a passport. One of the things I like to point out is that we have um, a what I call a quick visa checker. So you may not even know if you have clients traveling somewhere if they need a visa or not. So we have a really quick and easy way for you to find out. And on our website, just go again to book um, and then travel documentation and you'll see visa services which will bring you to the page I have here. If you click on book it, it brings you to another page um, where you can just enter in a couple questions, answers to a couple questions. It's really just um, where are your clients traveling to, where are they, um, where are they from, and it's going to, you know, are they traveling for business or pleasure? I think those are the three questions um, you have to answer. And then it's going to come back and tell you either yes, you need a visa, or no, you don't need a visa. And if you do, need, if they do need a visa, then of course, um, if you wanted to book it online here, you could. Okay, so um, number nine, of course, is earn commission when you book. So, of course, you want to be earning for commission for everything you're booking, um, and we'll be paying you. So I just wanted to cover the different commission rates for the different products that we just covered. So for activities and tours, as well as shore excursions, and this is all the via tour content, we pay up to 10% commission. And the way this works is we pay 6% base commission on all activities and tours. And then for ARC agents, um, agents who are ARC participants, we offer a quarterly bonus program where you can earn up to 4%, an extra 4% of um, commission on the bookings for tours and activities. And I'll show you in a few minutes, um, I will show you what the, um, the bonus program grid looks like, but I just want to cover the other commission rates here. So for car rentals, um, we pay 5% commission. And then for passports and visas, we pay 15% commission. Um, one thing I didn't mention is that we do um, partner with a company called CCRA for hotels. And CCRA is a hotel aggregator, kind of similar to car rental, um, car rentals, car trawler being the car rental aggregator. Um, the way that we've integrated with CCRA, though, is just a little bit different. Um, if you go to our website and you click on um, book and then hotels, it'll bring you to a page about CCRA. If you wanted to book um, CCRA, you would need to go to their portal and register with them and then CCRA pays you the commission, which is a little bit different than the other um, suppliers we have here. The other suppliers, we pay um, the commission and again, I'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. So you can also earn commission when your clients book. And I mentioned this at the beginning. We offer what we call our Arc Marketplace affiliate program. And this is available for tours and activities and also for cars. So again, this, that would be the Viator content as well as the content from Car Trawler. You can sign up for the affiliate program and put a banner on your website. And that way, when your clients go to your website and they book it, you earn the commission. And it's the same commission levels that I just showed you as if you booked it yourself on our marketplace if you booked it for them. So it's a really um, easy process to set this up. You basically go to our website, you click on Learn, and then you go to the affiliate program page, which is what I'm showing you here. You register, there's a short registration form to fill out. It's gonna get, ask you um, just for some basic information about your agency. You will need to have your ARC number or your ARC Marketplace ID. And I'm going to talk about the ARC Marketplace ID in just a few minutes. I haven't gotten there yet. But you will want to have um, either of those numbers available before you sign up for the affiliate program. And again, that's just so we can identify yourself, identify you. And what we do is we um, create a uh, specialized URL um, that has your ID number in it that you would be using on your website. So we know that that's how we know that the bookings came from your website and that we can pay you. And this is just an example of what some of those banners look like. We'll generate a customized link. 
You can select one of these banners. We have a lot of different um, sizes, as you can see, that you can put up on your site. Okay, the quarterly uh, bonus program for ARC agents. Again, this is only for tours and activities, so only for the Viator content. Um, so again, the base commission on that, the, that content is 6% for all agencies, but then ARC agencies can earn up to an extra 4% through this program. And the way this works is for each quarter, we have different uh, commission tier levels based on sales for that particular quarter. So as an example, if you're selling more than $2,000 in tours and activities in one quarter, then you would reach the extra 4% level for that quarter. And this readjusts every quarter based on your sales. And again, this is your agency's sales. So this is by agency, not by agent. And I get that question a lot. So if you have multiple agents within your agency who are selling uh, tours and activities on Marketplace, that all, all that volume, all that sales volume counts towards this program. So really, if you're doing, um, you know, I don't think actually $2,000 is a whole lot in sales if you really are um, booking on the site. So it's pretty achievable. And then number 10, get paid by ARC. So ARC pays commission on ARC Marketplace bookings, again, for the Viator content, that's the tours and activities, the car trailer content for the rental cars, and the Visa Central content. Uh, Visa Central is our partner for the passports and visas. So we're going to pay you for all three of these um, things that you're booking on the site. So there's no chasing multiple suppliers for payment. Commission is paid to you the month following travel or usage. And again, any travel agent can use our marketplace and get paid. Commission is paid out to the agent identified during the checkout process. And I'm going to talk to you more about this in just a few minutes. Um, but you want to be sure to input your ARC number or your ARC Marketplace ID. So now I'm going to cover, um, I just covered the 10 reasons to use ARC Marketplace. And now I'm just going to give you a little bit more on getting started. Um, this is how you would sign up for an ARC Marketplace ID if you need one, and I'll explain that. I'm going to give you a couple booking tips and tricks, and then talk about how you can connect with us. So again, it's easy to get started. If you are an ARC agent, <clears throat> so that means you're a um, participate with ARC, you have an ARC number, and you don't need to do anything. All you need to do is go to the site. You don't need to log in. Again, there's no login. There's no password. You just go to the site, and you can start booking, and then you would use your ARC number when you get to the checkout page. And I'll show you a picture of that here just in a few minutes, what that looks like, where you would input your agency information. But you would just use your ARC number. And because you're an ARC participant, we already have all your banking information and everything we know to pay you. For agencies who are either not ARC agencies or they're outside of the United States, you would need to sign up um, for an ARC Marketplace ID. And this is a really easy process. You would just go to our website and go to Learn and then go to join, and then it's going to bring you to this page. And you'll see I've highlighted here on the left, let's see, on the left it says use an ARC Marketplace ID, and it says sign up. If you just click the sign up link, there's a two-step process to sign up for an ARC Marketplace ID, and it's super easy. You just would enter some very basic um, company information about your agency, the primary contact, you would create the ID that you would like to use. And you can use, um, if you have a CLIA number or a different um, identifier that you would like to use, you can certainly um, use that here. We just would need you to enter that here and then click on Check Availability just to be sure that there, we don't have another agency that's already using that for some reason. Um, but you can certainly do that to create your um, ID. And that's really step one. Step two, once you've created that, is you're going to get a message back that says, oh, your um, ARC Marketplace ID has been created. Of course, this is what it is. Um, you will also get an email with that information. And then step two, you want to click um, to get the financial information form that we have. It's a one-page form where you just need to fill out, again, some basic, uh, very basic company information about your agency. It also includes some banking information. 
And the reason for that is we need that information to be able to pay you your commission. So once you sub, um, send the form back to us, um, then we have that, we enter it into our system, and then you're all set up and then we can pay you. So just to give you a couple booking tips and tricks, um, I mentioned um, earlier the product search, and I just want to um, talk for a minute about this. So on the site, in the um, navigation bar on the top, we have this blue search button. If you click on that, it's going to bring up this black box that says, let's get started. And you can see, um, I know it's kind of small here, but we've got activities and tours, we've got shore excursions, and we've got car rentals. And it's going to be just kind of um, defaulted here on activities and tours. But you can select uh, by country, by region, or by city. Of course, um, you can narrow it down by date. Or what I like to use this search for is really the keyword search here. I um, mean, you can see I typed in Paris VIP tours. This is where you can really search a little bit more detailed for some of those exclusive tours or VIP tours or, you know, if there's something in particular you're looking for, um, you can narrow your search by using the keyword search. So I always um, like to tell agents about that. I think that's a good tip. And then here um, on this screen here on the left, um, this is our main screen for the tours and activities, and you'll see the same thing for cars um, where it says let's get started and there's a search box here. Again, here you can search by country, by city, and by date. You don't have the keyword search here. You would need to use the keyword search using the blue box. Um, the product information page, again, I mentioned this a little bit earlier in the presentation, but it really is important because we get um, questions from agents about this, and I just want to make sure that I uh, do point this out. These pages are really important to review because, again, they're going to talk about um, the highlights of that particular tour or activity, what's included, what's excluded, um, the schedule details, if they have them there. Um, they may have pricing information. It's just going to give you a lot of information on those pages. And sometimes, you know, to be honest, the pages are fairly long. Uh, you might have to scroll down to read the whole thing. Um, but I would recommend taking the time to do that because it probably will answer some of your questions um, that you may have if you read the information up front. So again, this is where, where it says um, inclusion. Earlier, I mentioned the worry-free guarantee for the shore excursions. That would be listed here. It would say worry-free guarantee if that is included on the shore excursion. I mean, this particular one I have here is for the Cancun Airport VIP lounge access. I know it's not a, a shore excursion, but I just wanted to mention, again, that's where that would be. So the booking tips and tricks of identifying yourself, I mentioned, you know, you want to remember to input your ARC number or your ARC Marketplace ID in the checkout screen when you're booking. And this is really important because we want to give you the credit for booking and we want to pay you your commission. So if you don't enter anything here, then we don't know that you made the booking. So there'll be a travel agent details section. This particular screen that I'm showing you is the one for tours or act and activities. Um, but it's very similar for both car rentals and then also um, for passports and visas. There'll be a section where you input your ARC number or your ARC Marketplace ID. You put that here, and that's really important. Um, and then, of course, your agency name, your name, and then your email address. And then for the tours and activities, um, with the email delivery options, we give you the option um, of to send a confirmation email to you your customer or to both you and your customer. I always recommend to people just choose agent and customer and that way you both get a copy. But again, that's up to you and how you want to do that. You do have an option there. Another question I get quite a bit from agents is group, about group bookings and how they make group bookings. So um, the way it works for tours and activities on ARC Marketplace is the, the tours, for the most part, can be booked um, up to nine travelers, is usually the max. There are some tours that may um, have the capability to have more um, than nine booked, but most of them are going to be up to nine. And we don't have a group desk um, to book them online. 
they basically just need to be booked in subsequent bookings and tied together. And it really is actually pretty easy to do this. So I just kind of wanted to walk you through how to do it because, again, I know agents tend to have questions about this. So um, what you want to do is, and I, I think because I had the Cancun Airport VIP lounge access, I mentioned this is a new, newer category of product on the site. Uh, so I wanted to just show you that. But this particular um, product, I believe there's up to 15 travelers that can be booked at one time. So that's a little bit different than nine. So in the example I'm giving you is a little bit uh, more, but it's the same concept. Because um, let's say I want to book 30, I have a group of 30 that I want to book here. So I would select the travel date and then the total number of travelers. In this case, I can book up to 15. So I would enter 15 for my first booking and I would add it to the cart. And then once I get to the checkout screen for that particular booking, there's an area in the checkout screen that says special requirements. And it's just a free form field. It's not a required field. But what you want to do is, of course, fill out the other information on the checkout page. But when you get to the special requirements box, you basically just want to make a note that this is a group booking of 30 people done in two bookings. In this case, um, because I can book 15 at a time, I'll just book two groups of 15. So what you would do is you would make a note, you would complete your first booking, and then you would go back to the product page, you would go select the date again, the second 15 uh, travelers, and again, once you get to the checkout page for the second booking, you're going to see the special requirements box, and again, you're going to just note that it's a group of bookings for 30 people done in two bookings, but this particular booking is tied to booking reference number, and you can put the booking reference number here. Because when you do the first booking, you're going to get a confirmation email that has the booking reference number in it. So then you can actually put the booking reference number in the second booking. If you need to make uh, more than two bookings, you know, you might need to tie three together for some reason. Um, again, you would just do that for subsequent bookings. That way the supplier knows that they're all together. So we have a few um, ways that you can stay up to date with the latest industry trends, the latest events, um, travel ideas, latest seasonal products. Um, we have our ARC Marketplace blog, and again, that's just right on the ARC Marketplace website. It's a really, really good resource, um, to be honest, for a lot of things. I mean, um, again, staying up to date with the latest things and seasonal products, but then also if you're using Arc Marketplace, we have these um, educational posts on here as well. Um, it's, they're called Guide to Arc Marketplace. Like this one happens to be for group bookings. There's one here, Guide to Arc Marketplace Quarterly Bonus Program. That's the quarterly um, commission program. It just talks a bit about that. So we have um, a lot of posts here that are kind of tips and tricks, um, you know, educational for using Arc Marketplace. And we post here three times a week. So you'll see um, quite a bit of posts uh, there. We also have a Twitter um, and a Facebook page. So if you're um, following Twitter um, or you're using Facebook a lot, you can, of course, access our, um, our site there. Uh, we also do have a monthly newsletter. And this is what the monthly newsletter looks like here. On the right, I have a screenshot. You can sign up to receive our monthly um, newsletter on the bottom of the page. It's kind of under the header. It just says sign up for a newsletter. Just input your email address. It's that easy. And I promise you we won't spam you to death with a lot of emails. It's just one monthly newsletter. It usually comes out, or it comes out the first Wednesday of the month. And then we might have um, one or two flash sales here or there that would also go out to that list um, monthly. But that would be it. We don't, we don't send you a lot of stuff. And that's all I have for my slides, Sandy. So I'm sure there's probably some questions out there that I'd be happy to answer. Thank you so much, Jennifer. As always, that was a fabulous presentation. We really appreciate it. 
Jen, most of the questions that are being asked have to do with agents who are part of a host agency. Um, so could you go over that requirement again? Our agents are asking, uh, does the, if they belong to a host, do they, does the host have to have an ARC marketplace ID of one kind or another? Um, if their host does have an ID, do they have to sign on under the host ID or do they get their own? And just to ask one more part of this question, if an agent belongs to a host who has an ARC Marketplace ID uh, and they sign in under the host, can they still join the affiliate program just for their agency? Sure. So those are all great questions. So let me try to address that. Um, so I guess a couple of things. I'll just say um, that ARC, um, does, we don't, I don't want to say, we don't police, um, I guess, you know, monitor which host you're a part of or not a part of or whatever. So that's really up to you. Um, with the agreement between you and your host agency, most host agencies, um, or most of the bigger ones anyway, are ARC participants and have an ARC number. So we have quite a number of agents who are booking on ARC Marketplace and they're, make, they're making their bookings using their host agent's ARC number. What that means is that the host agent, we're paying the host agent, and then the host agent is paying you. And again, um, you know, we don't know all the agreements between the between you and your host. Um, that's really, um, you know, between you. But um, if you, we also have agents who decide they would like to sign up with Arc Marketplace directly, and they can, you can do that too. Um, you can sign up for an Arc Marketplace ID, and then if you use the Arc Marketplace ID that you sign up for when you book, we're going to pay you directly. We would not pay your host. We would pay you. So again, it really depends on, I think, the agreements that you have with your host and, you know, how that works. Um, we're not really, you know, policing that to say, hey, this agent's part of this host, so you can't sign up with us. Um, but again, that's really kind of up to you. As far as the affiliate program, um, there is a little bit of a limitation um, with the way that the affiliate program is set up online, um, where if it's a host agent's ARC number, um, only one agency number can be associated with one, um, one website. So if it's a host and then say, you know, there's a lot of agents under that that have their, has their own website using it, to sign up online on ARC Marketplace probably won't work for you using that one host number. Um, but I would be more than happy if it's something that you're interested in. We have worked with host agencies separately um, to where they've integrated um, Arc Marketplace content into their websites for all of their agents. So that is something that we can do. And if it's something you're interested in, um, I've got my contact information here on the screen, my email, my phone number. Um, I'm happy to talk with you about it. We can see what host you're a part of and um, we can figure out kind of maybe how we could work with them. So that's something I definitely would be happy to chatting with you about. I hope that answers uh, the questions with that. Okay, the great answer. And uh, um, since you have your contact info up on the screen, I want to remind our agents that if we don't get to your question today or if you think of something after the webinar is over, uh, do get in uh, touch with Jennifer at the um, information that she has posted or the ARC Customer Care Center. Jen, I see that number on the on the um, screen for ARC Customer Care. Uh, what is there an option number that should be there as well? Oh, yeah, sorry, that got... Um Cut off. I apologize for that. Um, I believe it's option four. Okay, it'll be obvious when, when the you, agent calls. I it presume. will when you when you call. It'll it'll tell you exactly for our marketplace. Okay, great. For the um, tours that you do for companies like Viator or CCRA, um, one of our agents wants to just clarify: they book through Arc Marketplace and not directly through Viator for this. Yes, that's a good question, um, and actually I'm glad that somebody asked that because um, I have agents who call or call our customer care center and say, hey, you know, I, I booked this Viator tour and I didn't get commission. Well, then we come to find out that they booked it on Viator.com. So if you're booking something on Viator.com, they do not pay um, travel agents commission right on if you're booking on Viator.com. But if you're booking on our marketplace, then they pay commission. 
So you definitely want to book it on our marketplace so you can get the commission. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> that's that's what we want. Yeah. Um, one of our agents says that the fall foliage tours seem to book up very quickly. When do those become available, and when do you recommend they promote fall foliage tours to their clients? Um, that's a good question. You know, it really depends on the particular tour or activity. Um, just to give you kind of an example, like right now. Um, what it's October, you know, people are starting to book into the holidays. I mean, I think um, the standard booking on our site that we see on our marketplace is anywhere from like 30 to 60 days out, and that's a, a bigger window than what like Viator, as an example, sees on the consumer side, consumer direct. And that makes sense because travel agents are booking things for your clients a little bit further out than maybe your clients would be booking for themselves for in destination type of activities. Um, so we have, you know, as an example, some of the content that Viator has worked out with their suppliers, you know, they already have a lot of that up there for 2017. Um, some of it they're still negotiating with their suppliers and getting the agreements in place for 2017. Um, so if you have a question, a particular, a question about a particular tour or activity, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me and I can reach out to Viator and find out for you um, the availability. But um, it's kind of hard for me to generalize that, answer that question kind of in a general way, even just about the fall tours, because there's so many of them. Okay, so again, if you have questions, uh, do get in touch with Jennifer. We had a couple of questions about groups uh, that I'll jump to right now. Uh, if you're booking a group of a certain number of people, is there a discount? Uh, over a certain number, is there a tour conductor discount? And finally, um, does the website have the ability to take different credit cards if you're booking for several different couples? Again, all great questions. Um, so let me see if I can answer all of those. So um, we do not offer, um, Biotour does not offer group discounts um, or a tour conductor um, code or uh, special pricing. So there, are, there really isn't any special pricing for groups. And then the ability to take separate payments, we currently don't have that. Um, it is, though, so that is definitely something that I hear a lot from agents they want to see. So um, I've definitely provided that feedback to buy a source. Um, I don't know if that's something they haven't told me yet, um, if that's something that they will put on their roadmap. I mean, it's not on their roadmap yet, but it is something that I have repeatedly um, you know, let them know that, hey, we, we hear a lot of requests from that from agents. And the reason being probably that you guys are booking more groups than, say, you know, some of their consumer customers are. So, um, you know, I have provided that feedback and hopefully um, sometime they, they will be able to add that and that would be great. But for right now, they don't offer that. Okay, great. Well, we'll stay tuned for that uh, to be uh, to be added in. Uh, and speaking of added in, are you planning to add any additional destinations for the city pages? We are, and as a matter of fact, we're in the process of um, of doing that. I think, um, and of course, uh, now this question comes up. I don't have them all in front of me. I know that Sydney um, was on the list. Um, I think Reykjavik was on the list. That's a really hot new um, destination um, that a lot of people are uh, traveling to and you know asking about. We have a list of about 10 more that we're going to be adding over the next you know coming months. So I would say just visit um, back often and look there. And we try to again you know what we have that now is really the top uh, book cities because they're the ones that you know agents are booking the most. But, you know, we'll start looking also at, like, the latest kind of hottest places and, um, you know, what they might be able to, what you might want information about. So um, I would say, yes, we definitely are adding there and just check back often. Okay, great. Uh, do you offer any park and fly or park and cruise hotels? Um, you know, where you can leave your car there and, and go off on your trip. Okay, um, that's a good question. Not that I'm aware of. Um, I can ask CTRA about that if they offer that. I'm not sure, and um, I don't know whoever asked that question. I guess, Sandy, I'll get a list of the questions. I can get back to that person. Yes, definitely. 
Okay. Uh, we have time for a couple of more questions. And um, the first one is, does the uh, visa information uh, program or visa application work for Canadian customers? Um, that's a good question. I believe now it's just for U.S. Okay, and our final question for the afternoon, uh, can agents call ARC Marketplace to book or does it have to be done online? That's a great question too. So um, we really prefer that you are booking online um, and so does Viator. Um, we'll have agents who will reach out directly to Viator and um, they really prefer that they are booking online on ARC Marketplace because you know, that's how you're going to get commissioned. But if there's certainly, if you have questions, um, like I said, the best advice I can give you really is to look through those product pages because there really is a lot of information there. If there's still not, if, if that still doesn't answer your question or you have other questions, we're happy to, we're here to help you. So I would say reach out to our customer care center. The number's here on my screen and they can definitely help you um, with your questions. So feel free to reach out to us and we can help you uh, with whatever questions you may have. Fantastic. This has been wonderful. We learned so much. Uh, you know, I've done these webinars with you before, Jen, and I'm, I learn something new each time. So thank you so much. Our guest today from ARC Marketplace has been Jennifer Breedy, Senior Product Manager for ARC Marketplace. Jennifer, thank you so much. Great. Thank you, guys, and thank you, um, everybody, for your time today. I know um, taking time out of your day is everybody's busy, so I really appreciate the time. And again, um, feel free to reach out to me if you have any other questions. Thank you so much, and thanks from me, too, to all of our agents signed on the call today. Uh, we really appreciate your being here, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.